That's my um, setting up face for those of you watching the replay. Um, I thought we had fixed the lighting in here. Um, it still looks kind of blue to me. I don't know. That's okay. I can be a Smurf. I think it's the light coming in through the windows. And I have the studio lights up. I turned them off. I've turned them on. Uh, it doesn't change anything. I still have blue. Short of moving into a different room or blocking my windows. I guess this is what we get. I could be a Smurf. I like Smurfs. Um, still kind of setting up here. Sorry, you can see my focus face. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, Adam. Hi, Justin. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Trina. Thank you for saying it looks okay. I still think it looks blue. Um, we have been fighting with the lighting and the fo photo, the video setup since like August. Um, I do have a new laptop now, so I might just start moving into other rooms at this point. We'll see. Hi, Jolie. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Tammy, you're so sweet. Um, so I do feel better, but I'm really tired. So if I seem a little off, that's why. Um, two weeks ago I had food poisoning and then I had something like the stomach flu and then I had a sore throat and like a head cold and then I had like this sinus thing going on and I was just like barely able to stay awake all day. I just, those of you that have had the flu know like my whole body hurt. I was hot all the time. Muscles I didn't even know I had were achy and I kept just getting like so fatigued like I just couldn't stay awake. And I was just struggling every day just to get the minimum amount of work I needed done done around naps. <laughs> it's like being a little old lady. Um, I did wake up this morning feeling a whole lot better. You can still kind of hear the sinus thing going on and a little bit of a cold in my nose. Um, I pushed it in nose. <laughs> and I'm just really, really tired. I think that's normal after you um, are sick for so long. You kind of feel like you're in a fog and really tired for a while. And you can still kind of hear that. But I feel like a human being today for the first time in about two weeks. I actually feel like a human being. And um, I'm tired, but not to where I can't function. But that's a plus. Um, Trey's here. Hi, Trey. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for coming in. Do I like Beanie Babies personally? Um, well... Yes and no. Like to sell as a reseller? No, I do not like them. Do I personally think they're cute? Yes. Do I personally have like four hippo beanie babies for myself? Yes. Guilty. Hi, David. And I'm assuming Bill's with you. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming in. Um, thank you for your well wishes. Trina, I had been drinking chicken broth. Um, not bone broth. Chicken broth, green tea. Every remedy you can think of. Adam says he slept on and off for 11 hours. He doesn't even know. Okay, well, I have you beat. <laughs> this is embarrassing, but you know what? I was sick, so I'm going to tell you all. So last Thursday night, I didn't sleep at all. I just didn't feel good, and I just decided I was going to stay up all night and get um, back-end work done and watch some shows on Netflix. And so I was up all night long, and I really didn't feel good. And around noon Friday, I finally crashed. I woke up at 2.30 to help Keith with shipping. I woke up brief, briefly to eat something late Friday night, and I woke up again at noon on Saturday. So I basically slept for 24 hours. But I guess I needed it. I mean, I have been sick, so. Um, do I collect Beanie Babies? Oh, you love me. Thank you. Um, just the hippos, to be honest. Um, there's some, some of them that I think are really cute, but I try to personally only keep plush that are hippos. Um, just because I deal in a lot of plush, like hundreds of them a week. And if I kept everybody I thought was cute, then there would be no room for anything else in this house. Um, so I try to only keep the hippos. I have a couple hamsters, but it's because I have hamsters. And my sons, they're like teenagers, so they're not really into plush anymore. But they have a couple they like. Um, my youngest son has the Beanie Baby Ostrich because it reminds him of his um, bird he has in World of Warcraft. It's snowing here too, Adam. It's snowing when I woke up this morning. 
Um, I used to get a flu shot every year when I worked in the healthcare field. It was required. Like you couldn't come back to work until you had your flu shot because we worked around high risk patients we took care of. Um, and I got sick just the same every year, whether I have it or not. I, I get sick if I get it and I get sick if I don't. So I just saved myself a little bit of needle anxiety every year. Where did I get my top? Um, I got this at Target, believe it or not, like five years ago on a clearance rack. I paid a buck fifty for it. This is my buck fifty Marvel shirt. Elderberry syrup with Ed and A Chef, you are ill. Huh, Frizzy Lizzie, that's a good tip. I was taking echinacea pills. Um, but see, when I first got sick, it was food poisoning. I ate something bad. And then I got better from that for like a day or two. And then I just came down with like the stomach flu. When my stomach felt better, then it was all like my throat and my nose. It's like I got everything. But here's the hopeful, hopeful thing. Maybe because it's the beginning of December and I've already had like everything you can have. I'm just done for the season. And I won't be sick till next winter. But yeah, I did sleep for 24 hours straight. Almost straight. Key line, key line Kisses is here. Hi, how are you? Justin's got to get back to his 9 to 5. Well, thank you for stopping in, Justin. You can watch the replay because I'm about to get into it. Well, the thrift. I just wanted to take some time to chat with you guys. I haven't been consistent for two weeks with my videos. Um, I even missed a live haul one Sunday. Or not a live haul. I missed my regularly scheduled live show one Sunday. Um... So for like two weeks, I just haven't been consistent. I haven't been putting out content. The content I've been putting out, it's honestly not been that great. It's just kind of like plowing through it because I know that I have to put something out there. So um, now that I feel better, hopefully I can get back into the groove of doing a video every day and responding to comments a little bit more regularly. I stole my son's coffee mug. I have did pull today. I hate snow. I hate snow. Target. Yeah, I used to work at Target, and it's not Target. Let me just tell you that right now from behind the scenes. <laughs> um, Trey believes drinking more alcohol kills food poisoning bugs. I thought so, too. And I had um, a couple of drinks when I had the flu. Or no, let me... Let me rephrase. See, my brain's still foggy. When I thought it was just food poisoning, I had a couple. Um, I'm doing this blue raspberry and Sprite cranberry mix I really like. I had a couple of those, and I did feel better. But then when it moved into the um, upset stomach, like flu bug, that way, I didn't drink anything because I didn't want to make myself sicker. But I did have a couple of drinks, and it did make me feel better. For those of you that don't know, I got really, really bad food poisoning from salad in Vegas in July. This was way before this romaine outbreak. And I did um, drink from the open bar every night and I kept having drinks every night while I was in Vegas and it did help with the flu or not the flu with food poisoning. I wish I could get my words in straight. Um, oh, matcha tingness wants more rants. You know what? Not a lot happens in my life to rant about, to be honest with you. Um, I try to keep this channel positive and enthusiastic and encouraging to everybody so I try not to be ranty or angry a lot of the time um, on the rare occasion when eBay literally screws me up the ass pardon my French I am going to let the world know and I'm going to vent about it um, but typically they're okay I mean there's a lot to complain about but I I don't want to be one of those channels where I complain all the time I want to be positive until I actually have something worth complaining about and then you better believe it I will um, I do have an update for you guys, but I'll put that out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I try not to rant unless I have a really good reason or I'm just fed up with something. Like if y'all ever really want to hear me rant, um, get me going on my soapbox about partial returns. <laughs> I get really heated up on that. Bye, Justin. Thanks again for stopping in. I'm not pounding the table. Oh, I am. Sorry. I'm making Adam dizzy. <laughs> Uh, David, moving to Florida is the plan eventually. Eventually. Um, I was going to make, yeah, I think I said that on the channel. I was going to make homemade chicken noodle soup like a week and a half ago. And I wish I would have, but I didn't feel good enough to and I never did. But that would have been nice to have. But I was just having chicken broth 
um, a lot while I was sick and Sprite and Gatorade. Um, of all the foods to get poisoning from. I know. It had to be the ham because the only thing I ate different from um, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving until Keith went back to work Tuesday, the only thing I ate different, we ate everything the same. The only thing I ate different was one piece of ham. And I was the only one that got sick. And like I said, it was like a really violent 24-hour kind of sick. Then I felt better, and then I was sick again. So I don't know. I can't eat butter when I'm sick. It makes me like... I'm not a big fan of a lot of butter on food anyway, but I can't eat it when I'm sick. The Affordable Care Appeal Center ran it in a nice way. It's only because you slept for 11 hours. I'm usually a pretty polite person. Um, I'm sure that the rep reps at eBay that I dealt with during the um, item not as described debacle. And those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, you can go on my channel. It's called 0% Seller Protection from eBay. That's the video. Um, I still tried to be nice. I got to a point with a couple of them where I literally said to them, I know it's not your fault, but I'm really pissed off right now and if I don't hang up on you I'm going to take it out on you um the one guy I said happy Thanksgiving to even I was like I have to hang up right now because you're just making me angry because you're not you're not listening you're reading your script you're talking over me I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving I really do but I'm hanging up on you now and I just hung up on him um I may have dropped the f-bomb maybe a little <laughs> Holly says what do you think about partial returns um, I have a video on that too. We eat a lot of white rice, key lime. Um, Keith and I are very plain food people. Um, we like white rice. I bought a rice cooker a couple summers ago. Um, I got it new in the box at a yard sale for a couple bucks too. Um, but we eat white rice all the time. We really like it. I have to shift around in my chair. My back is killing me. Sorry, guys. So, all right, I'm going to get into the sourcing, but you guys can keep chatting over there. And um, my chat moved. Let me fix that real quick. You guys can keep chatting over there and asking questions, and I'll keep looking and checking in over there. And um, now I have scrolled too far. My name is Star, and I know how to use a computer. La, 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 la. My phone. I still have my Halloween sound on. Um, I'm trying to get this to where it is down there, and I can look and talk and have hands free. Okay, that should work. Technology, right? No, I have this new laptop. I've said that. Um, and for some reason, this darn thing only has two. Um, USB ports, which I've never heard of on a laptop. Most of them have two on each side. So we're getting um, a, a piece or a part that you plug into one of the USB ports and it gives you more, kind of like those things you plug in the wall for more sockets. Um, but until then, I only have two. We're going to Walmart. Well, we were going to go today, but now it's snowing, so I don't know. But anyway, my camera and my mic are plugged in. So I can't have my mouse plugged in when I'm doing a show. So I have to use the um, touchpad mouse thing and I am off. I can't use those. I have no sense of direction, no coordination to use that. And then I always want to lean on it with like the side of my hand, which makes things happen and pop up. So, um, it's a Dell, I believe. Yeah, it has a one terabyte hard drive, which was the driving force. Um, before I got this new hard drive, I was on um, an eight-year-old Alienware that used to be Case gaming laptop. And I would work between that and this other computer we have, uh, desktop. And I filled both of their hard drives up. I filled up two external hard drives. I'm really bad at going through and deleting stuff and I always want to save stuff. So I now have something with one terabyte and Keith told me if I fill this up, I'm done. <laughs> No more devices, no more external hard drives for me. Yeah, I have the Yeti. Dun, dun, dun. 
Yeah, it has too. I've never, but see, I've always been on Alienware, so I don't know. No, I had a Dell before. I have another laptop in the, in the other room. Her name's Harley, and um, yeah, we name all of our devices. Um, she is so broken that you have to keep her plugged into a monitor now. Like she doesn't even have a screen anymore. Um, she had four ports, I think. Desktop with three screens. Um, I like having a laptop and two desktops. That's how my setup is. I have a laptop in the middle and two desktops on the side um, and a tablet and a phone at all times. I like lots of screens, but I like having a laptop for the portability. Um, I can move around the house when I make videos. I can take it with me if we go on business trips. It's a little less to contend with um, and it travels well. So I do like having laptops. This might be a Lenovo, but I really think it's a Dell. Um, I really should pay attention, but I don't. Keith is a computer IT nerd guy, so um, he just does my stuff for me. And I, I know how to work everything. I know how to do all my programs and softwares. Um, typically, like our desktops, he goes on Newegg. Um, what was Newegg before it was Newegg? Tiger Direct. He's always gone onto those places and bought the parts and built our laptops from scratch. So they're like Frankenstein. Hey, Jamie Pace is in the house. I heard your back is feeling bad, buddy. I hope you feel better soon. That sucks. Um, again, I don't know how much it was. Keith bought it with the business credit card, um, this debit card, whatever. He got it on Cyber Monday. He got a good deal. We were actually in the market for a Dymo XL, but um, even on Amazon, they were like 50 bucks off. It wasn't even like a real Cyber Monday sale. So we decided to just stick with the 450 Turbo for now until we could find an XL at a good price. And since we didn't get an XL, um, the Alienware that I was using was on its last legs as well. It was basically a desktop. It had to stay plugged in. You couldn't move it around anymore or unplug it, it would die. So he's like, well, since we're not getting the printer and we have um, the capital the, in the bank that we don't have to reinvest, you just want a laptop, a new one. And I said, please. Yeah, we went on Cyber Monday. Um, I'll have to ask Keith. I didn't pay attention, honestly. I don't care. I don't like math. I don't like accounting. I do some of it for Keith, but um, usually he takes care of all of that stuff. I'm just the face. I'm just the face of the hippo hut. Sibhan Secrets lives in the UK where it's raining, but you love snow. You're sick of soup. We eat soup all winter, all fall and winter. I make it in the crock pot. Um, all right, so let's get into this. Um, we recently had a friend, most of you know her from Reselling Groups or in my chats, Colette. Um, she was actually my friend before reselling. I met her in a writer's group about five years ago, and we did uh, several writing conferences together, seminars. I taught at one where she went. Um, and we did like writing groups together. We used to write short stories and get published together. She's really an amazing person. And we kind of lost contact for about a year when I was working a lot of, I'm leaning on the table again, I'm sorry. We lost contact for about a year when I started uh, working a lot of, here comes the train, a lot of overtime in my old job. And um, in the meantime, she was looking into reselling and she was, you know, doing the rounds on the groups and the YouTube channels and stuff. And she started watching Casey, the rock star flipper. And I was on his live show as a guest. I want to say it was March, very beginning of this year. And she saw me live on his channel and she was like, oh my God, that's my friend star. And she called me and she's like, are you reselling? Do you and Keith have an eBay store? Like I saw you on Casey's show, what's going on? So we totally reconnected. We started meeting for lunch once once every two weeks or so, whenever we both had the time. And I kind of took her under my wing and I was teaching her reselling. Um, 
some events have happened in her life, nothing bad, but it's not my story to tell and it's not my life to tell. So you can ask her if you want in the details, but it's nothing bad. It's 100% awesome for her. She's beginning a new chapter in her life, but she's leaving reselling behind. So she gave all of her inventory to me and Keith, just gave it to us. Um, I brought her a loaf of bread from the store and she tried to pay me back. And I was the one day and I was like, you're not paying me for that. You're giving me all your inventory. Anyway, Keith and I are taking her and her husband out for dinner this weekend as a thank you. Um, oh, she's here. Colette's here. Colette's in the chat. Hi, Colette. Um, okay. She says, I can tell them. So, um, go do your homework, stay in school, be smart. Thank you for watching me, honey. I appreciate it. You are eight hours ahead of us, so it's kind of late for you, but thank you for stopping in. Um, okay, so Colette says, I can tell you guys. Um, I was like staring out the window, not looking at the chat. So sorry. Who needs to buy more tape, Jamie? I do um, my freebies, my eBay tape. I guess it's not really free if you pay for a store, right? Um, I am trying to scroll. I'm just not even gonna try, sorry. Okay, so. Um, I tapped on the table again. I'm so sorry, Adam. I keep forgetting. So Colette's husband's dad passed away and left them, um, an inheritance and Colette and her husband are now absolutely debt free. And so she can retire from reselling and retire 100% from working. And, um, she doesn't have to resell anymore. She's debt free. So she gave all of her inventory to Keith and I. Um, I'm hoping she goes back to writing. I'm just going to put that out there in public. I hope she goes back to writing. She was an amazing writer. Um, she was working on a book last last we were in a writing group together. Um, I don't write anymore either, so I shouldn't talk. But anyway, she gave all of her inventory. I am Trey Marie. Do you see that? I'm just like all over the place. Um, 23 days left for what i don't really celebrate christmas so is that what we're talking about see sidetracked again so colette gave keith and i all her inventory we're taking her husband and her out to dinner this weekend for thank you and um in the meantime our entire foyer downstairs is full like we took a resellers it's her father-in-law and um thank you for your um, condolences. I'm sure she appreciates it. Um, so our foyer is just full. I mean, we have another reseller's entire, not only inventory, but death pile. So like everything she had that was already listed, everything that was in her death pile is now in my foyer. So we have a lot of inventory down there that we need to go through. And I know that I had just said a couple weeks ago on this channel that we had gotten through our death pile. We were done. We were building a new one. Um, that, not so much building a new death pile, but building a backstock for the winter for the just in case you get snowed in or whatever. So we now have that and we are working off of it as we speak, but we still want to go sourcing. Like we don't want to 100% say now that we have all of Colette's old inventory and death pile, we're not sourcing because what happens if we work through that and then we have nothing and we're snowed in and blah, blah, blah. So instead of going to three to four Goodwills a Sunday, we're only going to one. We're picking one a week and going. And we're being a little more cherry picky about the items we choose to source while we're there, if that makes sense. So we have, um, we're basically building a back stock from the one Goodwill a week and working through Colette's stuff. And then putting this stuff that we're buying aside for our back stock. Death pile, just in casey's, whatever you want to call it. Justin got the bat signal. Yeah, I kind of went last minute on you guys. I'm sorry. Last you heard, I was uh, on Poshmark doing stuff, and then I was just like, oh, surprise. Oh, 23 days left to use my Q4 eBay supplies coupon. Yes, thank you. I need more tissue paper and tape. Um, yeah, Jeff still works. It's just Colette that's going to be retired and hopefully writing. Um, after the show, what kind of, I have a, are you talking to me? I have bunk beds that my kids refuse to use. It makes me so mad. It's a futon on the bottom and a bunk bed on the top. And I think it can separate into two. 
And I spent so much money on that like a couple years ago and they've never used it. It literally holds our giant plushies that we have no room for anywhere else. Um, let me see if I can scroll down. No, I don't do Christmas. My kids are with their dad at Christmas and I don't have any living relatives left uh, other than my two kids. So it's not necessarily a very happy day for me or an exciting holiday like it is for a lot of people. Um, I don't begrudge anybody that does celebrate it. If you have a big family, if you have kids, if you're religious, whatever your reasons are, if it's a big day for you, um, that's great. That's fantastic. I'm glad you guys have that. But uh, to Keith and I, it's just another day. Um, we do presents and stockings with my kids. We get them right after Christmas through the new year, but Christmas day is their dad's holiday. So we do some presents with them, but um, we don't, we don't do anything on, sometimes we go to the casino on Christmas and um, we buy each other gifts, but like he just bought me a new bed for my back. And that was my Christmas present now. Um, actually it came like two weeks ago. So that was even in November when he bought me my new mattress or my whole new bed for my back. So Jamie says he'd never give up res reselling. Um, friends miss doesn't happen either. <laughs> we haven't been in Pittsburgh very long and, um, we're workaholics. Our friends are all like in Arizona and across the state, but it's not a big deal guys. I'm not sad about it. I've never really liked Christmas anyway. Um, I just, it's not a big deal. I'm not sad about it. Don't feel bad for me. It's just another day. Like I said, sometimes we go, Keith and I go to the casino with his grandparents. Um, and we do our own thing. Like we buy each other presents in November. It's cool. It's, it's not sad for us that there, you, there are literally people in the world and Keith and I are part of the, those people that holidays come and go. And we really wouldn't even notice if no one else told us or the rest of the world wasn't doing something about it. Um, okay. I have to read this question. What do you do with low ballers for 199 that you offer to 105? Um, I treat all offers the same, no matter the item, no matter the cost of goods and no matter the offer, I respond with 10% off and thank you for your interest in this item. And then I move from there. If they're not coming up to where I'm comfortable, um, I list really, really high with best offer. So like um, I would go 10% off and thank them. And if they come up like within a couple bucks or another 10% off, I'll take it. If they don't come up to where I'm comfortable, I just keep going back with what I'm like, say my bottom line was a hundred and they kept coming back. I would keep going back with a hundred until they either a ran out of their five offers, B declined me or C went away but never decline. Um, when every time that you counter an offer, it counts as activity to Cassini on that particular item. So even if they're sending you $1, $2, $3, $4, and you keep sending a hundred back, just for instance, every time you do that, it's making your item seem more desirable to Cassini. And that item is being pushed up in the search results. And it could very well be seen by a different buyer who buys it at full price. So no, I never just let it go. I never decline. I just respond 10% off the first time. Thank you for your interest in this item. And then I go from there accordingly. And if I have to send the same offer five times because they're stubborn, I will. It doesn't matter. I'm just pushing. I'm getting free promotion to push my, my um, item in the search engine. G. Jasso, I'm originally from Tucson, Arizona, born and raised. I lived there until I was 18. I moved back when I was 23 for a couple of years, moved away, and I went back about five years ago with Keith. We lived there for two years. But I am originally born and raised in Tucson. Eggnog is delicious. I had the eggnog latte at Starbucks. It was really good. Um, Chinese restaurant and movies. Actually, the casino is open. I like going to the casino on Christmas. Um, they have a really good restaurant there. And I know that there's people out there who don't like people to work on the holiday and get all bent out of shape, but I'm sorry. In my experiences, in my lifetime, I've always worked in the healthcare field and we had to work on the holidays, but we didn't. 
there's always somebody that wants to or is willing to for whatever reason they don't have family um and they're willing to work and they need the overtime and they need that double time so like when I used to have to work on Christmas, Thanksgiving is my holiday with the kids, I would switch with folks. So I would always have Thanksgiving off and work Christmas for people who wanted it off. So in my experience only, people who work on holidays typically wanted to, um, even when I worked at Target, you only worked on the holidays you volunteered for. They had a sign up sheet, you got double time and a half, you got a free meal, hot meal, catered meal, if you worked and people would sign up for it. And we go out to Denny's on Thanksgiving with the kids and Keith's grandparents every year. We get the same waitress for five years who says she volunteers to be there. She wants the money for Christmas. So my throat just got really dry. I'm going to cough and I don't want to do it in your microphone. <coughs> um, even if they're never going to come up to what you want, just keep countering, keep countering, keep countering. It keeps your store active and that item looking looking um, desirable. Okay, let's get into the bag. So here's the thing. I really wasn't feeling good on Sunday. I got up on three hours of sleep. We went to one Goodwill and we sourced. We came home and I went back to bed um, until I had my live show. Um, I was on with Casey that night. I don't know if you guys could even tell that. I was really just out of it not feeling good so everything we got went in this bag i haven't sorted through it you guys know i usually bring my hauls home and sort through them and organize them by shirts and pants and plush and brands and what i'm gonna i don't even know there's a bag here Let's see if i can show you the bag right here this bag we have one big full bag full and a little bit of plush and i don't even remember what we sourced i just dropped my camera Woo -woo. Amateur hour on the hippo hut. Let's sing about amateur hour. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're back. My camera's all messed up now. Um, so we have this full bag. I don't even remember what all I bought. It seems like it's up really high, doesn't it? I'm not going to keep messing with it. I'm going to make people seasick. Oh, goodness gracious. You all can see me, right? Here, we'll move the there. Okay. <laughs> it's amateur hour at the Hippo Hut. Yay. Hey, nice flip. Jasso, that's awesome. Okay, so camera is back where it's supposed to be. <laughs> I crack myself up. I am a ridiculous human being. <laughs> who probably has no business being a YouTuber. <laughs> but here we are. Okay. So my point was there's a bag full of crap here. I haven't, it's not crap. It's profit. <laughs> it's money. Um, if they smell, I was them. Um, <laughs> getting sidetracked. I am a goofball. Okay. So I didn't sort it. I honestly didn't even look at what Keith picked out. I just didn't feel good. Like I literally had um, eyeliner on. That was it. And my hair in like this big bun. And I just looked like crap. And I felt like crap. And I just wanted to get in and out. But I didn't want to skip sourcing. So there you go. So I don't remember what's in this bag. And I didn't sort through it. So we're going to do this live. We're going to go back to this bag and find out what we got. I know this is the plushies. Let's look at them first. There's only two, I think. Yeah, I actually think these have already been washed. I think Keith already did these and just put them back in the bag. Um, I'm a big wuss when I'm sick. I like go in the other room and die. And I don't come out for days. Okay. I just said at the beginning of this video that I don't keep a lot of plush. But... OMG, isn't he cute? Isn't he, he, his wings are, um, posable. Hey, Noelle's here. Hey, hi, welcome in. Thank you for showing up. 24 away from 200. You get it, girl. Listen your face off. And Light Rays is here. Hi. 
So anyway, I thought he was really cute. He was in the 50 cent bucket bin, basket, whatever. And he's from Hotel Transylvania. I know Holly's going to like him. I got, I'll tell you guys a secret. I love that. I know they freak most people out, but I love that. I love rodents. Duh. I love, I used to have pet rats and mice. I have pet hamsters. I think bats just look like freaking rats with wings. I just think they're cute little rodent looking things. Anyway, I might keep him. I don't know. He was only 50 cents. And this guy was in the 50 cents bin. Look at him. And he is old. He's old. Old. 1996. So this guy was made the year that I graduated high school. He's from Ace, which um, those of you that deal in a lot of plushies from the 80s and 90s, especially like the Looney Tunes and popular characters, they are made by Ace. That is a vintage um, company and tag. And this guy, those of you that, you know, are old enough to remember, Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Valentine. Remember that when he would dance and sing? I did that at the store for the Goodwill worker, and she just looked at me. <laughs> she just looked at me. And I said, Oh, you're too young to remember him. And she said, I'm probably older than you. And I'm like, I'm 40, sweetheart. And she was only like 32. So that was a compliment. Thank you on a day that I looked and felt like crap. But she was only 32, so I guess she didn't remember him. I don't know. How old do you have to be to remember this guy? Who's got 1,652 listings on Instagram? Er, subs on Instagram. I read that as Posh, and I'm like, holy, lots of listings on Poshmark. Day one. <laughs> Um, well, my name is Star and I'm the plushie queen and I have a problem. I did at one point have about four to 500 plushies in my death pile. I've been slowly working through them, but I still buy more. And I might actually be going in on a gay lord of plushies with Casey. Because I like plush. I do never, I never, never, ever lose my, um, Desireless plush. They are my favorite. Yeah, my ragtime gal. I said Valentine. Holly, why are you so excited about this frog? But you didn't even comment when the bat came up. I thought for sure that would be like a Holly. And I got it. So bad. That's not how Holly talks. Maybe. All right, I got a pair of jeans in my hand. And these look like they are... Adriana Goldschmied, and they've been taken in. You guys can see that. They've been hemmed. Um, I will buy pants that have been hemmed like that when I get them for 99 cents. These were 99 cents. Um, and then depending on the brand, I will either just measure the new measurement with that and disclose it in the listing and say, you know, please pay close attention to the measurements. These are custom fit hemmed. Um, but Adriana Goldschmidt's a brand you can start at like 30 or $35. So I will probably get the seam ripper out and, um, put these back to their original state. The yellow, no, they haven't been to the wash. The tech, well, I don't know. Sometimes Keith throws these in the washer with these in there. Cause you know, he's a guy. Um, <laughs> anyway, yellow was 99 cents. That is why I watch your videos, Plush Queen. I love Plush. Like, somewhere inside of me is a five-year-old child that just wants toys. Noelle says 150 more to list. They're fun, though. Oh. She said I love, I said the bat was adorable. You do love Looney Tunes, don't you? That's your thing. Mine's Disney. But, um... Plush, they're fun. They're fun. And if you get a good process going, absolutely. Um, they're just it's fun. So I think these are a pair I picked up for 99 cents because I have never heard of them. And those of you that know, I taught myself how to be a reseller. 
Keith and I would go every week and load up on 99 cents items without comping and bring them home and discover brands that were great, brands that were bread and butter, and things that we said never again. Uh, little Bear Romance is working their part-time job. Going to quit it soon. You know what, Justin? I wonder if all of them are in sync now. But I wouldn't be surprised if they were. Bye, Adam. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Vintage plush and puppets do the best. Um, vintage plush always does very well, obviously. Anything Disney that's not Winnie the Pooh that has slowed down for me that was doing really well around the time um, the movie came out, Christopher Robin. Um, but there's other obscure brands and things that do really well and go really fast. I talk about some of them in some of my other videos. Anyway, these were 99 cents. I've never heard of them. I bought them. I want to try them. Worst case scenario, they go up for 10 bucks with charge shipping. So for 99 cents, I will try them. Surprise, like I said, I have no idea what's in this bag, but we'll just discover it together. I think there's two of these. Yes. Y'all know Cuba Vera. This used to be a well sought after brand. It is now considered, at least to us, this is bread and butter. Cuba Vera has become bread and butter. So this was 99 cents. It's just a plain orange Cuba Vera polo. This one was also 99 cents. And um, it's a little nicer. It's a button down black and white with like a leaf tropical print going on the other one the polo is not silk and neither is this one board games i would have to play each and every one before i could list it so i don't buy them because i would get in deep trouble i'd have i have three five shelves three three to five shelves full of board and card games as it is all right jamie thank you for coming in i appreciate it these were 99 cents as well. I have heard of this brand. It's not a great brand. It's Divine Rights of Diva. Um, but I bought them for their unique print. I do well with jeans that have unique prints. Longtime viewers know I talk about that all the time. And these are a nice blue leopard print. Do not put me on the 65 inch TV. But. Nobody wants to see me as it is. <laughs> All right. This is uh, 99 cents. Just not your daughter jeans. No big deal. They are size 16. That's a good size. Um, I think um, Keith must have hit the Cuba Vera. And um, like Hawaiian shirt button down plethora. This is not Cuba Vera, but it looks like the same kind of style. It's Heather Brown, button down and shirt. 99 cents. Outdoor life. I got sidetracked because some people like to message me while I'm on live. Um, oh, this is cool. So. This was full price. This was like $4. Now, I think it was on Saturday or Friday. Katie Zilverberg and Vicky, LB Pink Panther, were in Arizona sourcing. And Katie went live on Instagram while she was flipping through t-shirts on the rack at the Goodwill or at Savers. And she was giving tips and tricks and hints on vintage shirts. And Keith and I watched it. And so based on what we learned from her, and if you guys do not follow them on Instagram, it's Katie Zilverberg and LVP Panther, and their YouTube channel is like Katie and Vicky. Make sure you follow them. They do a lot of vintage stuff. They do really, really well, um, and they're funny. They're just amazing people. I absolutely adore Katie and Vicky. If you're not following them, follow them. Um. Anyway, based on what we learned from watching Katie 
source that day live on Instagram. Keith chose this shirt and took a gamble on paying full price for it. It is vintage. Um, I don't know. I think he told me what he was going to start it at. But, you know, when you're sick, you don't really pay attention to people. Um, G. Jasso, you, sorry guys, I was reading the chat. I forget I'm live sometimes. I'm not, I'm really not an airhead, I promise. Um, you can either put your store on vacation and hide all your listings. You can put your store on vacation and move your handling time out to however many days after the funeral. So if you were going to be gone for three business days, you would want to put your handling at four or five. And you can put, um, but you could just put it on vacation and hide them if you don't feel like dealing with that. Or you can put them on vacation and move your handling time out. Those are your choices. And, yes, we do have the new with tags, Robert Graham. Um, it's already listed, call it, on um, Poshmark and eBay and Macari. It was only a medium or else Casey would have tried to take that. He's, Casey is flipping out. He loves that shirt. And it was only a medium. So he's been after me to find the same shirt for him in an extra large so he can buy it because he wants it so badly. We have it up for 160. It's new with tags, Robert Graham people, and it's amazing. It's the Lake Mead fashion, fashion, the Lake Mead style with the flip cuffs, really brightly colored. You can look in our eBay store or in our posh closet to see it if you want. Lance is here. Jeez, you act like you have to work a job, Lance. Good grief. Justin sold a shirt like that for 40 plus shipping. This one? Yeah, I seem to recall Keith saying something about 40 or 45 with free ship. Noel's got to go unload a whole apple tree from the trailer. All right, honey, have fun. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop in and, and um, chat with me and watch me for a little bit. I 100% appreciate it. Enjoy your day. Happy listing tonight. You can do it. Call it says, tell him to die. Um, he would have paid us for it, just so you know. He he did say that, that he would have paid us full price for it if it was his size, which I wouldn't have let him do because we would have sold it direct. So obviously I would have like taken 15, 20% off for fees for the platforms and given it to them for that price. But, you know. You don't have a store. Yeah, without a store, you can't go on vacation mode or hide your listings. So you can just change your handling time. And absolutely, you are 100% welcome. And just so everyone knows, if you ever see anything in my posh closet or our eBay store and um, it's something you want, you can direct message me and we can do something direct through PayPal and give you a little bit of a discount if we're going off platform and there's no fees. Oh, I said that out loud. eBay's going to fire me. eBay's going to throttle our store. All right, this one is, I believe, just like a regular bread and butter Keith normally picks up. It's just a nice blue button front shirt. It has like some stuff going on on the front there, some embroidery. I bought more than I thought I did. Okay, these were 99 cents. These are, oh, these are just Ann Taylor Loft. They're bread and butter. I pick them up for 99 cents. They're size 14 and they're Kirby Flare, which I do well with in any brand. Anything that's a size 14 or higher that says Kirby, um, I always pick up. This is another brand that used to be super duper. Um, I wanted to say catch. Do the kids still even use that word anymore? Mm -hmm. Super duper catch. <laughs> um. Yeah, this, this used to be a really super good brand, and we were always looking for it, and the first time we found it and brought it home, boy, were we sorely disappointed. Everybody's running every, all the prices down, that, that uh, race to the bottom, folks. Anyway, this is still a nice shirt, and it was 99 cents, so sure. Tell him to diet. Colette, did you know that Casey's like six foot three, so even if he dieted and was then a medium would never fit him. 
He's abnormally tall. Keith is six foot, and Casey towers over him in photos. Thank you, Noel. Love you too. Have a great day. Um, Gaia Vera, are you talking about this or the blue one? Gee, Jasso. Let me know. I'll tell Keith. I don't do any of the men's clothing. So fetch. It's on point, on fleek, right? You all need to tell me what shirt you're talking about. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, the guy you, Gaia Vera is the blue shirt. And I'm believing Justin would have paid for it for the Bugatti, right? Okay, thank you very much for the tips, guys. Gaia Vera. I will tell Keith. Um, he might even find it when he's comping. He's pretty good at doing it. He only does men's shirts, so he probably knows a lot more than I realize he knows. Casey's abnormal. <laughs> I did not say that. I said he's abnormally tall. He's like six foot three. But his fiance, she's like 5'11. So I'm like me when me and Sydney are with them, because Sydney's even shorter than me. Um, it's like two little lollipop guilds. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith's six foot, so everyone else is tall, and we're like all little. I digress. I bought these because they are neat, and I like jeans that are different. These are white. They have these nice embroidered flowers on them. They were also new with tags and 99 cents. New with tags, embroidered jeans all day long, 99 cents. Um, Yeah. I'm getting loopy. I need to eat lunch. Um, Bed and Butter Brand Heritage. I just got them because they're size 14. And they're the dark wash. They were 99 cents. Um, just putting this out there, I do better with darker washes in women's. And like the flare, the curvy, the boot cut. And men's jeans, I find that I actually do better with the lighter washes. It's not to say I don't pick up light wash or medium wash jeans for women. I still sell those. But the darker ones go faster. The dark wash skinny jeans do better than the light wash ones, too. These are Jordash. That's a blast from the past, right? These are skinny. They're uh, blue jeans, but they're not like blue jeans. They're a different shade of blue. And they were 99 cents. I believe they were also a good size. I believe the size tag is cut out. Why would I buy these? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> 18. Yeah, these are these are good. That was a good that was a good choice, Star. Thanks, Star. I don't always talk to myself. But when I do, I make sure I'm on a live show. Okay, last thing, guys. We paid full price for this. Again, according to what we learned from Katie, this is vintage. But even if we weren't aware that it was vintage, we probably would have picked it up for what it is. Um, acid wash jeans, yes. There is definitely a market for them. There are definitely people who are looking for them, and they are harder to find. So if I find them for a couple bucks or less, I always pick them up no matter the size or the brand. They do sit a little bit longer. They are a little bit more long tail, um, but they do sell. And they sell for a little bit more money. So, like, if you have a bread and butter brand that you can normally sell 20 free ship, right? And you have the acid wash, you could do 22. If it's acid wash plus size, you could do 25. So I do pick up acid wash. I charge more for them. They sit a little bit longer, but they will go. Men's versus women's goes faster. But yeah, I do pick up anything like that is jeans that are anything like what we were wearing in the 80s and 90s. Because there is a market for those and people do enjoy them. Anyways, back to my shirt. Yeah, the Jordash are awesome. These are most likely vintage key line kisses. And um, I'm going to have to research them. But I think they're vintage, and that's just going to make me charge even more. And by research, I mean probably do one Google search and comp them. And then just charge what I want anyway, because that's what I do. So I roll. Justin. Okay, anyway, even if this weren't vintage, we would have picked this up and paid full price. 
The shirt is green, and it's the guy from. So sorry, my Halloween noise was. It's the guy from Green Eggs and Ham. Says Sam, I am. And. Da -da -da. Look at the dog. It's Seussware. So we picked that up, and we are pretty sure it is vintage. We're gonna see what that was. Oh, I see a fifty dollar best offer. That's probably not good, right? When you see fifty dollars as your best offer, it's got to be something high. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to have to leave this one for Keith, y'all. I cannot make this decision on my own. Um, I don't even know if you can see that. It's a $60 typewriter we have up, plus shipping. They'll pay shipping. And they offered um, $50. Thing is, this has only been up for a couple of days. I wouldn't take... I personally would want to go back with $55. And a message that says, we can meet you in the middle... Um, but Keith may, may have comped this and priced it really high and be willing to take the 50. So I'm going to have to leave that for him. Hopefully he takes it or he goes back and they take his counter. Um, today would be the day to sell that because he has like 20, over 24 hours to pack it up, right? Um, so yeah, I've been on for quite some time. I'm through my entire uh, sourcing, so I'm going to hang out for like five-ish more minutes. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the chat, any comments, throw them in the chat, um, and I will answer. And after that, after like five minutes of that, I'm going to let everybody get back to their day. I have to eat something. I haven't eaten since like seven this morning. I'm feeling pretty loopy. Um, I've had a lot of coffee. I need to eat. I think I'm going to have an omelet. And then I have, um, we don't have to do shipping today. In case you guys didn't hear, the post office is closed. And those of you in Casey's big group will understand why that's making me laugh. Um, we were supposed to go grocery shopping tonight, but it is snowing. So I think what I'm going to do is take the rest of the time from now till dinner, where I would be dealing with shipping and stuff, to take extra photographs today maybe, and then list some extra this evening. What do I do when I list? I watch TV. Um, every so often I make a resolution to myself that I'm not going to stream shows anymore. That when I'm working, I'm only going to stream YouTube channels and be learning all the time. And that usually lasts for like a day. I'll binge watch one person's channel while I work. And then the next day I miss my shows and I'm right back to Hulu and Netflix. But I cannot stand silence at all. And then there's only certain shows that I can watch while I work. So, like, if I wanted to watch Castle Rock or one of my Marvel shows on Netflix, I can't I can't watch those while I work. Because those are ones that you, like, actually want to pay attention to and you have to look at. So those are, like, my Friday night things with popcorn or whatever. Um, but there's certain shows that you can, like, have on in the background while you work. Um, I did all the CSIs and SVUs recently. I got through It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I've been through Friends and Scrubs again. I'm currently giving The Office a second chance. So, um, I don't really get distracted as long as it's a show that I could just listen to and kind of have in my peripheral, like on my phone or my tablet. Um, I keep over there while I'm working. But if it's, if it's a show that I actually want to sit down and watch, there's absolutely no way I can play it while I'm working. I will either end up not working or having to rewatch the episode anyway. So, um, there's a lot of shows that you can just put on. But, you know, and if you share posh closets too... Um, it's very easy to multitask and watch something because you're just, if you're sharing, you should always be sharing, this is my opinion, you should always be sharing from a laptop or a desktop. Sharing from your phone on Poshmark is time consuming and it's not conducive to being productive when you're on the lap, when you're on the 
screen on the computer, you can just do more faster. So um, I watch TV while I do that for sure. Anyway, it's about time I have to go blow my nose. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what the sinus thing is. It, I can't say it's allergies because allergies don't happen when it's cold and snowing, but. Yeah, a show might keep you seated, but you need to pick one that you have already seen and you enjoy enough to get through a second time or one that you can just listen to, that you're not going to stop to pay attention to. You need something with a lot of dialogue so you can just listen so you don't have to look at the screen. Um, maybe it was an iPhone. Do you have an iPhone? Because it's still a pain in the ass on the Android. Um, in fact, um, I don't like doing anything on the phone. So let's just, let's just put that out there. I don't list on eBay or cross post to Posh or share Posh on the phone. I think everything is so much harder and so much more difficult than it needs to be. When you're on a computer, you've got control C, control V, you got, I don't know, I'm just a computer person. I'm really, really fast on the, like when I'm typing on here, I'm constantly making typos and having to fix them and I'm really slow. When I'm on a keyboard, I do 98 words per minute with 99% accuracy and I know all the shortcuts like control V, control C. I'm really super fast and really smart on a computer and not so much on phones. So like I would even personally prefer like when I do Facebook messaging, if I have a lot to say to somebody, I go get on the computer and type it out rather than saying it on the phone. It's one of the things I don't like about Instagram. I hate typing on the phone. Maybe I'm just old and don't like phones. One hit to some the icon. Yeah, but I still think it's faster when you've got that little, the little share symbol on your computer and you've got eight of them. And then you scroll down, you've got eight more. That's my sharing posh noise, guys. But yeah, I absolutely 100% prefer everything on the computer. I actually have a program that I can type something and send it to my phone and pull it up to copy paste it into Instagram. So I don't always, like if I have a lot to say on Instagram, I can type it on the computer. And then I just add my emoticons on the phone. I might just be, you know, I grew up with, uh, you were lucky and rich if you had a cell phone when I was growing up. Not a cell phone. A cordless phone, sorry. A cordless phone. And if it reached to your mailbox, you had a great phone. She doesn't like... I can understand not wanting to move your mouse. I totally get that. The way I have things set up, though, I have it set up so 100% perfect for me. Um, I share my closet three times a day. And I do an extra hour sharing at the end of the day of other people's closets. Um, and I have it set up, I can roll the arms of this chair under my desk. So it's like pulled all the way up. And there's a surge protector there with all the plugs. I plug in my heating pad, I put it back here with a pe like a pillow and then my heating pad on my back. And then I get like right under the desk. So I'm like totally propped up. And my arm here on the chair lines up directly. It's almost like when I slide the arm of this chair under my desk, this is my hand and this is my mouse. I don't have to lift my hand or move my hand. My arm of my chair is literally slid up to the desk. So I've just got this mouse that I'm moving like this. And I have my TV show here. And I'm, I got my pillow, my heating pad, and I'm always all set and so comfortable. Um, it's the perfect setup. So I don't really have to move the mouse. I'm literally just, um, and my arm is supported and everything. So it's great. I uh, just don't like phones. I mean, I like them. Don't I like them? I shouldn't say I don't like them. I like you. You're my friend. Um, takes all my pictures for me and stuff. But I would still rather talk on the phone with someone than text. I'd rather FaceTime than message. So Anyway, that said, it is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It looks like a freaking blizzard's happening out here. The snowflakes are like this big, and they're like blowing everywhere. Probably won't be grocery shopping tonight. 
perfect night to stay in and get some extra work done. Um, so I'm going to go hit the work. And uh, Keelan Kisses, you're absolutely welcome. I absolutely love sharing my um, sourcing. Hi, Colleen. You can watch the replay, girlfriend. Thanks for stopping in, though. Um, yeah, I always love to share what I source, especially when I get the big plush hauls. Um, but I love to share with people what I source. A lot of what I get isn't what other people would look for, um, may even look down on. But you know what? It pays the bills, and I eat well, as you can see. So I do like to share that with folks, especially if you can find the cost of goods as low as we can. These are great bread and butter things for you. Um, Colette, if you're still here, I don't know if you left or not. Thank you so much for your inventory again. Yeah, there she is. She says we're only getting an inch. It looks like a blizzard here. I can't even see my neighbor's house. I'm looking out my window and all I see is blowing snowflakes, a sheet of white. I can't even see my neighbor's house. Um, but yeah, thanks again for the inventory. I really appreciate it. Keep the snow on my side of the state. You should have kept it on your side of the state. Holly, Colleen, who had it first. So anyway, I'm going to sign off here, guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, I absolutely appreciate the last minute showing of faces and support here. Um, I'm always surprised when I go live the last minute how many people show up. And I appreciate it. You're taking time out of your day. Time is money. Um, and it, it just makes me feel warm and fuzzy. So thank you for coming in. Um, you got it first in the season is what I meant, Colleen. You had snow before we did. Anyway, thank you again for showing up, you guys. I appreciate you. If you could smash the like button before you leave, please do. If you want to smash the dislike button, hey, that works too. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Be very productive. I love you all.